think is heartfelt, but stealth and uncensored. Not a whole lot of wealth, but I'm a young mentor, and I can sell on the shelf with one in store. Rich and the rich, as well as the piss poor. We the best on the set, the rest will just bore you. So show your love it for the bobo drumming and the Charlie Tuna logo, burn it to the core. Who the one trying to show you how to make you fresh? Going all out like naked flesh, making your chest ache when I take your breath. I'm safe and blessed, so one mistake in your fate is to wait for death. I'm a rebel to the grain, shovel to the brain when I hit. I'ma do my thing, sniper shooters aim when I spit. Call it Tuna slang when it's praying for my lips. Vocal tone like I sang with the pips. Let's go. Do this, let's What are you eating right now, Daniel? I am eating a tres quesos baguette. It's baguette with three cheeses on it. Really good. Alex, what's up? How's it going, Riley? <laughs> good. What are you eating right now? I'm eating a croissant con jamón y queso. Oh. It's like ham and cheese croissant. William, what you drinking? Mm. I am drinking some cafe leche con leche. <laughs> Just like yeah. all of Cheers to that. This is our first stop. We're finally off the ship. That's how it is with me. I don't know if we're ever gonna go back to the ship because this is the best thing in the world. Barcelona, Spain. The first stop on our trip. Um, we were very excited to get off the ship because we had been on the ship for 10 days at that point with 500 other college students. So it was refreshing. We were a little bit loud probably getting off the ship to all those locals. <laughs> um, probably came to a shock, but yeah, it was good. Went and chilled at the uh, coffee bar right off the bat. Um, yeah, it was really fun. So, fresh off the ship, right after we were eating breakfast at that cafe, we were just kind of walking through Barcelona, and this guy walked up, and he's like, hey, can I rap for you guys? And I was like, yeah, you want a beat? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> so I just started beatboxing. Get me a place in the My mother is calling for dinner, I'm more hungry, just hungry for the nasty juices, for the prejudice. There's the coins of Jesus Christ, of you that size. I shouldn't be missing some human light. Look at the kids with the cut in the cloud, go ahead to shots, peace. We had some praise, new praise for grace. Alright, dark wind, the wind, but this is not a pollution. We thought it's a race of pollution. The spirit is bringing solutions, putting the whole application. Breaking the rig of discussions, putting the hand on the shoulder, close to the weak and the other. Forget quick. One of the first places we went to was La Bocaria, which is a really famous outdoor market in Barcelona. Uh, it was really cool, it was just all locally grown fruits, vegetables, homemade candies. Uh, it was totally unlike anything I've seen in America. So it was cool, it was like instant immersion into this Spanish culture, it was awesome. Um, there were all sorts of street performers and dancers, like these break dancers were really cool. Um, some of the best break dancers I've ever seen. <laughs> He's the sickest for sure. Barcelona food for us consisted of tapas on tapas on tapas. Um, tapas are basically appetizers, but they're really traditional to Barcelona, so there's just like 14 or 15 different tapas that you find at literally every restaurant. Um, so we would just kind of eat tapas all day over the course of the day rather than have kind of a distinct breakfast, lunch, dinner, it was like one continuous tapas session all day, which was really great. Um, what else did we see? Oh, saw some sweet reggae ska band jamming out, and we went and hung out with those guys for a while. <laughs>
probably the highlight of Barcelona for me was La Sagrada Familia. It is this massive church that's still being built. It was designed by a really famous architect named Gaudí. And uh, they started it over a hundred years ago and it's still not done, which is pretty crazy to think about. But we got inside and it was like, it was completely unbelievable. I mean, from like, like with our Christian background, it was really cool being in this amazing church, but even kids that have never been in a church in their lives before were completely speechless when they were in there. Um, it was, I mean, it was beautiful and humbling and just a really, really cool um, Barcelona experience that is something that you can only do in Barcelona, that we would, we would never see anything like that in America, so it was really cool. Sorry that it took so long to get these videos going. Um, the internet in Europe is very unreliable, and we don't. We thought we were gonna have internet on the ship to upload the videos. Ends up we don't, so we have to get them every, however often we can. We're gonna get this one up, and then we'll have the Italy one up right after that, hopefully. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> One, two, three, uh!